right, guys, we are barely into hurricane season, and the tropics are so active right yeah. now, mm -hmm. Eric. So two systems that you're watching, right. one with a name. Right. So Brett was named as of 5 o'clock this afternoon, uh, third name storm of the season because of that one that happened back in January. Right. But there's also some interesting little tidbits about Brett. Let me show it to you. First, the satellite imagery, okay? Um, it's not a big, bad hurricane. It's a developing tropical system, but it is the earliest named storm this far east on record, and that goes back to 1851. Of course, we didn't have satellites. You had to depend on ships, and we know how ships and tropical systems go. The old record, by the way, this is kind of a fun fact, was Brett back in 2017. So that's interesting. And if this develops as a hurricane, the way the Hurricane Center says, it would also be the record holder for the earliest June hurricane this far east. So interesting stuff, if nothing else. Let's take a look at the forecast for Tropical Storm Brett over the next couple of days. Expected to develop and get stronger and stronger Wednesday, Thursday, getting to be a hurricane. And then by late Thursday afternoon, working toward the Caribbean islands as a low end category one hurricane. After that, it starts to weaken just south of the Dominican Republic and Haiti by uh, Saturday into Sunday. Now, why is it going to weaken? Let me show you the wind shear modeling, okay? For right now, it's in a fairly uh, decent spot for development through about Friday. After that, there's a whole bunch of wind shear that comes in from the north and basically just blows the thing apart, we think. And then looking ahead to Saturday, there's so much wind energy that this will weaken. So the vast majority of the computer models are taking Brett right into a wall of wind shear and tropical systems don't like wind shear. So if it follows this westerly trajectory, it would weaken in the Caribbean and then more than likely just fall apart as it works over toward the Yucatan Peninsula. The few models that do recurve it try to make it a stronger hurricane. And of course, if it does so, it will spin and recurve. We'll watch it, keep you up to date. The second one behind it is Invest 93, has a medium 50% chance of developing into a tropical system that should remain out to sea. And if that one develops, it gets the name Cindy. Okay, back here at home, it is a dry, hot afternoon. Current temperature in Orlando, 93 degrees. We are at 94 in St. Cloud. The beach is a little cooler because of that sea breeze. You see that pencil thin line there. A couple of lightning strikes here across Flagler County. Storm just firing up in the last few minutes time. Nice little downpour over uh, West Melbourne, Palm Bay and Malabar. And a couple of lightning strikes here on this storm system uh, working over toward like the um, Sebastian Inlet area. So next couple of hours, we do include a couple of storms in the overall forecast gradually quieting down though the rains are going to be east of town by 11 o'clock we're nice and quiet then look what happens tomorrow morning waking up to showers and storms in our northern spots and this kind of works into the metro by the morning commute and late morning. And some of these could be a little strong. We're going to have a bit of inclement weather for our Tuesday. And then as that works out, may actually have a quieter afternoon, according to the latest Futurecast data. So plan for morning storms tomorrow. It's an odd pattern, but it's the pattern we've got. Lots of energy in play. We'll keep uh, Wednesday pretty stormy, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just normal showers and storms. By the way, Wednesday, the first day of summer.